Oh, so, wait a minute. Ah! Oh, no. Adjust. There you go. That'll work. God, we can't touch that. Welcome back. Oh. <clears throat> hey, poop lick this pot down. <laughs> Watch that pooper. Okay. Next topic. Remember, we, we ain't rich yet. We can't reach all we can't reach with our fingy. So let me try. I'll next try. turn. Next time for the for the sound bowl. Oh, your mama gonna whoop your ass. Here, we go. Here I'll do a little bit of ASMR. Oh, that's right. Listen, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen to the sound of, of Kathy eating chips. Oh, here we go. Mommy. Here we go. What is it? You're gonna break that dowel rod. Ah, ah, <gasps> ah, ah. The damn crow again. It likes you. It's like St. Bridget is listening to us. Hallelujah. Okay, one more. That's it. Okay. Get the Sit. tip. Just the tip. Just the pointy. Oh. oh, God, you're missing. You can get it. You Go. Can, you can hear Go. my my labored breathing. <laughs> Holy almost, fart. Almost. Yeah. Let me I'm gonna let you try. Maybe you should try. I fail. You should try this end. Let's see. Let's see if that's better. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, y'all. <laughs> so you gotta use the thicker end, uh, not the pointy end. So the size does, in fact, matter. What's this? Awesome. <laughs> But those of you at home that are listening and not watching, we're using a dowel. really, really weak <laughs> dowel rod. It's actually for uh, those things we did as kids, uh, s'mores. <gasps> they are yeah. okay because the tip is pointy. I thought it. Yeah. I don't know. It's some kind of torture device or something. And it's made out of bamboo. So, like, you can throw it or just, like, throw it in the woods when you're done with it. <gasps> I have a good greater bolt. <laughs> throw it back funny. with its family. Yes, yes. It goes back to... Speaking of knowledge. trees, have you read any good books lately? Follow-up question. Have you read any shitty ones? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't like to talk shit about Anne Rice. Oh, well. Of course rest, not. rest in peace. She is a huge part of what made me the slut that I am today. Oh, God bless her. I'm just kidding. I'm a born again slut. I don't actually, I'm not a. I'm, we'll get to that topic later. I'm not a practicing Because we're trying slut. to make him one. <laughs> we had this discussion earlier. I said, hey, what's the longest relationship you've been in? And he's like, I haven't been in one. I'm like, well, honey, we need to make you a whore. You know, that's um, what my uh, best friend Chuck would say, too. He's going to agree with you on that one. Okay. He's like, well, he's like, I don't buy it. You're not a neuter. And I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm saving all of my energy for witchcraft. <laughs> Back to these damn books. Oh, yeah. So, rest in peace, Anne Rice. But... Her last books have a lot left to be desired. They're not very oh, good. Oh, you weren't very happy like with Lestat it. Like Lestat and Atlantis. That was just like she like took some ketamine and wrote a book and her son let her. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. But R.I.P. Matthew Perry. Yeah, but her son's in control of the Empire now and he is making two fabulous series at the same time. The oh. Lives of the Mayfair Witches and Interview with the Vampire. Oh, I want to see. There is no bad Interview with the Vampire that I've seen. Um, but the, now the original with Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. Now, that was I, awesome. I'm not a Tom Cruise fan. We all know that. We'll talk about that a lot on another episode. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. real. We digress. But um, you know, I love Brad Pitt 
I in as that character. Oh my god as louis you just want to like lay and you play just with his hair i and mean braid it braid it that's not what i want to do with him <laughs> nikki b i don't know and see this is why he's single he wants to do their hair i'm over here like see what i want to do i want to take that hair bump. and he's like yeah i put a french braid in it no 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 <laughs> nick Right, like he's a Viking braid. Then a... Oh, wouldn't that be hot? Have you ever had Viking braids? I wonder. I bet. I bet if we gurgle it. Yeah, let's try. Gurgle it. This is our first time gurgling online. Okay, you gurgle that. And while you're gurgling, I saw some quotes on social media from this book. And as a child uh -huh. from a freaking broken home, um, who lived with my paternal grandmother, who was very elderly and controlling and was born in 1925 and treated me like I was born in 1927. Um, and then, you know, I went off and saw my dad make a life and my mom was really never in the any tits. So I saw these quotes and the book is by Rose Brick. I think I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. My father's eyes and my mother's rage. Oh, you, if, if your parents are butt cheeks and it just shattered your whole fucking, it shattered your heart. <laughs> it shattered your heart. What's that song? Um, tearing down the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. 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 Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of banging going on. Winds were coming out. Anyway, so if you're having issues with that, this this book is just, it's like a warm hug. It's like a bottle of vodka or hot cocoa, whatever your preference. Like from your aunt or uncle that moved right. away to Columbus to escape their life. And, and you know, we've all got that family member, at least I did, that... When things got so congested and, you know, that heaviness in your house. Because at one time, my grandmother had cousins living there and her brother was living, all of these people living in one house. And they were smoking cigarettes. And even when I smoked cigarettes, oh like, oh, I did cigarettes. right. <laughs> I didn't even smoke in the house when I did smoke cigarettes. So for me, it was just, uh. but anyway, so... I was going somewhere with that, but, you know, I, I am almost 40. I will be 44 in one week, one week from today, February 19th. And then we'll both be the same age at the and same time. And then we'll both be the same age at the you, same you time. You won't be able to say that you're younger than me. I or... know, not, not for, nope, I've only got a week. But, yeah, if, if you've got that sort of thing going on, this is, this is really, like, a very awesome book. It's a very common thing with Gen Xers. I'm, I a just lot of toxic parents out there. Turn to this page, and I'm going to read what's on this page. Let me put on my bifocals. <laughs> That's so many people I know got bifocals oh, this I've had week. By, these like are just four. readers, but I've had bifocals. Okay. You ever get, like, a Charlie horse in your abdomen? Oh, yeah. That's a common thing among us big folks. Well, guess what? It it's hurts. happening, it and hurts. I may have to take a walk. You're like, is it an aneurysm? Should I stand up? Jesus, am Hit I about to die? Hit the emergency button. Hit life alert. Oh, shit. We don't have life alert yet. Like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, they keep calling us trying to get us. Remember, I told you, they keep calling my husband like, you have been selected for life alert. Like, who told you that? Like, what professional? All right. So, anyway. I can't keep blaming my parents. It's time for me to change. It doesn't matter what they did. I must help myself anyway. I never want my children to feel the way I feel. So now that I'm grown, it is my responsibility to heal. Amen and by that, that, that is, there is no textbook on how to heal and how you choose to heal may not be how I choose to heal. But going to the eye doctor to have your eyes fixed won't correct my vision. So everybody's different. But this book was absolutely 
everybody needs to get it. If you've had any sort of tra traumatic childhood or felt less than, just get this book. Now, let's 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 chat a little bit longer about. So when I ordered this book, there was another book. Where'd you order it at? Amazon. I ordered it from Amazon. And that's one of those like online like Sears catalog kind of places? Something okay. along those lines. So what Amazon is, you get on there and like say you want a book like this. And you'll get on there and they'll say, welcome to Amazon, Nikki B. And it'll know your name and everything. You can give it your email and then you can post what if you want fuck bugs, anything like that. They've got everything on Amazon. Write it down. A-M-A-Z-O-N. Amazon. So it's like Walden books? It's like I Walmart get, online. Sorry, I'm dildos. You can. You okay. can get everything like from dildos to caskets. Sarcophagus. Do they have... <laughs> I'm like, do they have... Where did that I come know. from? There's so many Do you want to go here? make me a Vegemite sandwich right oh, fast? All right, right then. That sounds great. <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> Right in the middle of the freaking podcast, the first podcast, and I have a Charlie horse in my abdomen. It's it's the awkward height of the It's chair. because I'm about to talk shit about this book. That and maybe I shouldn't. Okay, so I okay, so we're just gonna cover. So anyway, I I, I put this. You know, you know what? F it. This book is called Learning to Love Myself by Alex Aubrey. Now, I did my research to make sure that it wasn't like a, a kid putting out a book or whatever. And, and it, it's not. Um, however, I start reading this and I'm like, my God, these are quotes that you see on Facebook every day. Like, you know... Hello, starshine. The world is a great day with you in it, you wild and woolly what the fuck. You know? <laughs> like, and go, I'm like, take a walk and let the trees hug you. But that wasn't... So, you know, I tried... Oh, no. <laughs> I tried to, like, cancel it, and, and the Amazon wouldn't let me. So I'm like, you know, maybe the, the forces are telling me I need to read this book. But no, that's not it. And I'm going to show you why. Lean in. Lean, lean in. Lean, so, lean. Uh, do you love trees? Do you, do you love the forest? Do you think that trees should be staying where they're at? I do. I like the forest. They have a body. I don't know. She does. But... <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. So, I don't judge people by a lot of things. But yeah, I, either, I, I, but ju I this... do judge wastefulness and I judge littering. And so, that's just as bad as littering to me. So for those and, and and I'm not and I'm not knocking it. It's just I mean and the quotes are good. Like stop shrinking yourself to fit other people. That's brilliant. I love it. You can't keep pouring into a broken cup. You will empty yourself and the cup will still be empty. Maybe Stop maybe. trying to please everyone. Like, all I can, I think I can forget. Okay, so that's not all. Like, do you notice, like, nothing is capitalized. Like, there's no punctuation. It's kind of like they made it at home. And, like, they and bought a bunch fine. of blank books. You and know? they, like, typed it out for us. And to be generous, I'm like, okay. So as I'm leafing through it, before I start reading it, I'm like, okay, let me give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe this stuff is so profound that I'm going to need to write notes. Or maybe they want you to give that to your 13-year-old that's obsessed with anime and draw pictures for each one. So, that might and, be and that's why I kept it. That is the reason why I kept it, because I do have a granddaughter. I have one granddaughter. Well, and they kind of give that allude to that. Look, they drew a, a doodle right. bug on the front. Yeah, so, you know, I, I'm i going to keep it because, and give it to my granddaughter, because she's getting to be that age, you know. That's such an ASMR. That's an ASMR. Ready? Well, my 
more time from the other side. Uh, uh. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. And if you're wondering what we're drinking, it is a really big company, and it rhymes with ducks. So astral ducks, and it's their light, same color as this roast. Cheers. Cheers. I'm drinking tea from my jug. Look, I can't, I have to stay hydrated. I had gastric bypass surgery in 2017. I weighed 311 pounds on surgery day. And at my lowest, I got to 138, but that was when I was septic with my gallbladder. And then once I got that damn thing out, I evened out. And I stay right now probably around 190. Uh, but that's a lot better than 311, right? Okay. Amen. Look, sister. All right, let's see who Amen. let's let's we're going to the sound bar, guys. Let's see. I went from 311 to 190. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should grab the scale. I know, right? Here, let's try this one. I I, I know which one it should be. Yeah, which one? What's that one do? I think it's this one. Is that what? That's a round one. Push. You turned me off. No, I'm just kidding. I know. What I did know. you do? What is that? I thought that one said awesome. So we'll just. Get no, one. that's a. You just the square ones talk. That's the same one. That's the laughter one. Why are you still pushing? Push then that. this one. You know, I don't know that you have the coordination to work this. I don't either. Cause you're gonna break. Is that like a guy thing? I can't find the button. I don't even know. You that can't doesn't flick apply. the bean. I don't need to know where it's at. Okay, let's see. Let's try this one. Awesome. That's the awesome. Yeah, that's the one you wanted. Okay. That was awesome. But let's see what was over here. I'm gonna see what I accidentally turned on. Wait, that should have said something. Yeah, what? Are, what is that? Please hold for this brief intermission. It says eliminate. Elimination. Oh my God! Somebody's gonna fall through the floor or something. Well, we took it away, but now we're done. elimination. Like when they unfroze Austin Powers and he pissed for forty-five minutes. That's hot. Oh, so anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> this <laughs> podcast. Did I hit you? No, it's like when your elbow hit the wall. That's what I was like. Ah. So this podcast is uh, Nick's creation, and he asked me to join him, and he has been so like hospitable was sharing the pod with me and he's like just bring in anything that you know you want to decorate with and I'm like well I don't really want to clash with anything but I've got a cow poster over here just for my shits and gigs you can't see it you will but eventually you will eventually because the pod's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger take over the whole garage eventually. we're taking over the planet <gasps> and even that planet where they just found the city lights because... Oh, wait a minute. Was that Pluto? No. Like, it was like way past oh, I think our, our place. Our so, listeners will let us know, but if I'm... I think it's in Alpha Centauri. I don't know. I'm, I can't remember. Um, so I have a celebrity crush, and I brought one of my prized possessions with me to hang above my head just in case he ever happens to see the podcast and he's like gosh well like doesn't that look like well hold on that is me who is that lady on the tv with the poster of me on her head this has vocal can you tell that it has it's 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 training our voices like it's it has the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like cutting off the tops and the bottoms. Yeah. Like, it might be something that the soundboard does. It's like uh, auto-tune is what I'm trying okay. to say. It's auto-tune. So it's making me sound like, almost like I can sing. Like, ah. Oh, I heard that. See, like areola. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
So, oh my gosh, we should, I can see it. And we're rolling. Uh, rolling down the river. Oh God. Sir, I am Tina. Oh, wait a minute. You are Ike. I'm rolling on the river. You're rolling. R rolling. Okay, so let's start taking. Rolling. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's your line. Okay. You just, you deep. Rolling. Because I, like, gear it up. Because I, you know, gear it up. Rolling. Rolling. There it is. Okay, ready. <clears throat> And we'll roll. What the hell? That was crazy. I bet I know what it is. It's and we're rolling, 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 yeah, rolling, rolling on the river, rolling on the river. That was beautiful, Nick. I think I see. Wait, let's We're see. We're dropping what... our mixtape next week. Right. Get a hold of us, Motown. <laughs> so, I would like to hang this above. What the hell? Who should she do? Bo -bo -bo? I, she just said something is Asian. She did. I don't. Ah! Smooches. Everybody get under the table. Yeah. Oh, that was like supposed to be a typewriter. Hell, I thought it was a drive-by. We do not have auto-tune anymore. Do you notice that? Hello. Hello. Yeah, oh, we do. Okay. Hello from the outside. <laughs> okay. I got to okay. take my headphones off. Okay. To hang this up. So for those of you not watching. She is turning around, so you're going to get a view of her beautiful top that she has on today. And she's putting up an inspirational piece. Oh, very oh you're going to make a lot of people happy with that one. Oh, we all get the M word when we see him. Oh, yeah. I need a bucket to mop my wap. Right? I was like, macaroni. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, um, but it doesn't stop here. So hold on. I got one more thing. You're like, I actually And bought... people are going to freak out, but don't worry. I'll iron it out later. I'll get I'll get the iron. I see what you did. You had this. Nikki's mom, Miss Lynn, will get the iron and we'll iron things out later to get off my testicles. Did you get that printed offline? So... Before I, my father-in-law passed away, he had a music store, oh. and that was, and he, I got to pick all of the decorations. Well, the the store pretty much was closed before it, or closed pretty quickly after we opened because he had a stroke, and he wanted me to continue to run the business, and I'm like, no, sir. So, but I have one more thing. He looks extra good he almost looks like oh i'm so we picky have a, about my art we it looks like we put a green screen image up there like if they hadn't seen, right it's a very that. good print I, I got it at the walgreens yeah the walgreens Do yes you know, poster pick we used to have a friend that worked there and he would make us banners that cost like a hundred dollars that were made out of vinyl of madonna he made us floor to ceiling ones once oh my god i love it it's a mega point. Oh, it's so cute. You it's my it. good luck mega point. Look at it. And you know, that label makes me feel like I work in a restaurant again. Because that's like what we label everything with. It's a mega point. So, there's that. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. Mr. Depp, if you ever see this. You are more than welcome to come over. I have a spare bedroom. You will be sharing it with Listen, Mama I Kathy, know though. this is your podcast. <laughs> I just, he has to share the, the spare room with you, though. <laughs> right, right. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody's going to be like, what was that? You had it wrapped oh, in. I know. It's very Golden Girls. Well, this, yes, like it's very, it's very Golden Girls, but it's also um, very 
Helen Roper. <gasps> For those of you under 40, <laughs> Helen Roper was the greatest landlord of all time. That's right. And she had a husband named Stanley. 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 Uh, yep. Three's Company. Jack, Janet, Chrissy. People used to tell my sister that she was Chrissy Snow when we were little, and she hated it. Uh, my first celebrity crush was John Ritter. Love John Ritter. Oh, me too. He Loved had some him. gay energy going on. I love that. Look at this. So, you know, like in the TV show Roseanne, where they all wore the chicken shirt. This could be like our chicken shirt. Oh, yeah. From when they worked at the one A place. rooster or whatever. The old cock. So, yeah. This is my Mrs. Roper robe. I got this for my friend Kelly, who is awesome. And when I... Uh, I was so excited when I saw it. And I had to, to share with him. I was like, look. This Mrs. Roper robe. I have a cool item that I'll wear on another episode. Maybe um, we can do Moo Moo Mondays. I don't know. Right, like cool things. Because my friend, um, her uncle passed away. And he was an artist. Mm -hmm. Okay, And he is known for the last 50 years for making the coolest, like, hippie stuff. Like, overalls that are custom. All this cool stuff. Ooh, we and, should have her um, do a, a fashion show. Um, She would probably love that. I'll ask her about it. And then um, we'll get maybe some we'll, have her, for we'll have her on some of our um, expanded content right. that we'll be doing on YouTube also. Right, and because I do, you know, there are other areas where we're going to record. Um, I have a pod at my house, which is literally a pod. And it has, you know, it's where I go out and expand my mind. And I have a uh, hot tub out there. And yeah. like it's it's really nice. We're gonna be doing stuff out there. We're gonna be having summer parties. My mommy has a swimming pool. You and, know, uh, we're taking you all with us. Right. We're gonna have those really special kind of microphones. You know, that have Secret the little service. little pack that goes to your butt. Like so, when you flip out and try to run off, you have to wait for us to take your microphone off. Right. You can't. Before you store them out. Like, uh, can someone unmic me? That reminds me when I worked, I did loans for a little for a couple of years, and my friend and I, my friend was actually my boss for a while, and we our door was backwards. So when people would get angry and try to like storm out the door, they would literally slam into the door because oh, of, oh it was hilarious. That makes me moist just thinking but, about right. That. Well, and it was one of those, you know, payday advance places where people come in and you're and you ask them. I was always up front with them. I would say, "Look, I need to know: Do you have any more? Do you have loans out with any other agencies like ours?" And they would say, "Oh no, no, we don't have any loans out." And I would say, "Look, when I put your information in here, if you have any of those, it's going to tell me right away. So instead of wasting each other's time, you need to be honest with me because." You're not going to get it anyway if you're not honest with me. Right. Which having another loan doesn't necessarily mean you can't get a loan from us. It just means you probably won't get as much as what you wanted. Right. Um, you know, you've got to tell us about that. But not everybody nine years ago. Right. Exactly. But not everybody qualifies. Not everybody's honest. And then you get to the point where you... 60,000 of my income is from prostitution. <laughs> right. You can't you can't verify your income or anything like that. You know, it's always something. Can I get a receipt for that HJ, please? Right. And then just absolutely act like you pretty much told them they could never exist in life again because you denied their their wanting a loan. And oh, they would you. I've been called every name. Okay, we can say the F word. We're way into it. We're yeah. like 16, I've been called everything minutes. you could possibly think of. But it, it just was so fulfilling to see them huff and puff and try to blow our house down and then just slam right into the fucking door because <laughs> it was backwards. And then we'd be like, oh, no, sweetie. Other way, honey. Other side. There you go, doll. There you go. And they would just get even madder because they weren't, you know, and that job I actually got in my pajamas. 
I went in to send a money order or get a money order. And I had my pajamas on and the girl that was there, she was just swamped. And I was talking to this other lady and she was like, I like the way you interact with people. So if you're ever looking for a job, we're hiring. I was like, well, I am actually. And um, they and always say in, that until they hear you talking about like, Oh, kind of lingers. Well, the train, the chain of events that happened after that point was kind of strange <laughs> because I'm like, oh yeah, I am looking for a job actually. So she set me up to come back and speak with her uh, district manager the next day, and I remember getting in my car like, okay, well, I feel safe, you know, coming to work here. I never heard of them getting robbed or anything. Three hours later literally like on spongebob three hours later the same girl was held at gunpoint at that store she never returned back to that store it was so dramatic after for her. she just got you hired on yes oh, and like... that's how the the other woman became the manager and then i took you know that other position because it was the manager that actually got held up at gunpoint and then by the time I started, there was a security guard there. Um, and then we got bulletproof glass. That's, um, that took this place on North Main. Yeah. It's, uh, it was actually in Huber, but it's not, it hasn't been there for years. But um, people, would ch- people have cojones. Oh, they do. Like this uh, girl I used to know. Um, I haven't talked to her in years, but she worked at a gas station. That place got robbed all the time. The, the one in Inglewood that's like oddly in the middle of nowhere, but still on North Main, but it's like in a weird spot. Yeah. That place used to get robbed all the time. They eventually had to put in like full on bad part of town glass windows. Yeah. You know? Well, and, and I, after I learned that it got, it got robbed. I was telling my husband, like, I had that thought, and then it happened that night. And he's like, so are you not going to take the job? And I was like, well, I don't know. I'm still going to go to the interview. But when I went to the interview, I wasn't in the mentality like, okay, I'm going to go in here and talk to her and get this job. Because I was just like, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. It was literally it was in walking distance from my house. It was so convenient. And I go in, and... I remember her ask, and I'm friends with her to this day. I remember her saying, I have a question. At first, well, one of the questions was, is the customer always right? And I was like, fuck no, the customer ain't always right. Is everything okay? No. Um... We're still recording. I don't think we are. Yeah, we are. See, it's blinking right there. See, record? Right in the middle, right above your head. Oh, it says my Nope. To the left. Keep going. See? Right there. It's recording. It's blinking. You're good. The timer's not moving. But we hit the record button. Oh, Oh. there we go. Okay. It says with the 12. He's panicking. Okay, I know. I was like. It's like a new father changing a diaper. He's panicking. Okay. He's panicking. So, um, let's. Talk about one of the coolest people that you currently know or you have known and other than like me or yourself, like oh my God. who is somebody that you're like, oh, you've got to meet so-and-so because they are so cool. By the look on your face, all of your friends suck. <laughs> no, they're like all amazing. Like there's yes. 50 million people. Yes. Um Let's see. Who's my coolest friend? I've had a lot of well, like really cool friends. Well, tell me about one of... Okay, let's talk about this. Tell me about one of your cool friends. Just tell me about one of your cool friends. Um, my one friend, Amy. Amy? Okay, yeah. tell me about Amy. Um, Amy is a big free spirit. She loves live music. Um, she loves to have a good time. Um, she is fun to go out with. Uh, she's fun to go hiking with, and she's a small business owner. So what? What does she do? Um, she is a licensed massage therapist. 
Okay. And she also does health counseling, so she can help you get your whole life in together after you get a good massage. Or during. Right, exactly. Like, like girl, she, you need to get rid of that man. Right, like yes. she can get you like some supplements, and she can tell you like things to do and books to read and stuff like that. Oh, we'll definitely have to have her on. and Much better than a life coach. Get some info out of her. Absolutely, she can be a whole She episode. sounds super cool. Oh, she's super cool. So my cool person, I'm going to pick my sister-in-law, Shannon. So I met Shannon like 12 years ago, maybe 10. I met her at the gym, and we pretty much fell in love. And then she met my husband, and they fell in love. Uh Uh-oh. And they are... They refer to each other as brother and sister. Like, they, and they are. They are so close. Like, I love their relationship. Because she can have conversations with him that I just could give a shit. Right. Like, Star Wars, my husband is all obsessed. I don't know anything about Star Wars. One year, for Christmas, I bought him a shirt that had, um... What's the guy? Luke what, Skywalker, right? Right, right. Luke, uh, yeah. Well, I didn't know that Mr. that was Walker. him. So there was Luke Skywalker on the on the t-shirt. And the only reason, like, if I would have walked past and saw the dude on the shirt, I would have never known that that's who it was. I thought it was, I thought it was the guy from Quantum Leap. Huh. Scott Bakula. Scott Bakula. That's, that's my crush from childhood is Scott Bakula. <laughs> so I'm like, When was, well, the reason why I found out it was Star Wars is because I just saw the tag. It said Star Wars. I was like, oh, okay, well, my husband loves Star Wars. And it was just, it was, you know, Luke Skywalker where it says, I know. I guess somebody says, I love you. And he says, I know. And if somebody would say that to me, I'd have punched him in their Luke Skywalker face. Right? It's like, hello, red flag. Like, no. Like, you better take that, rewind it back. (laughs) Or sure got the back. Rewind it back. Or sure got the beat to make a booty go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so one more thing about shannon is she is a mortician she's a funeral director Ooh, i know someone with a similar name she is is not a funeral director but runs a funeral home that's awesome she's she like when she first started telling me you know talking about her job it gave me nightmares and i'm like we we can't we can't do this and then, you know, your brain matures and, you know, eventually you're eating spaghetti and you're like, you found what in this asshole? <laughs> you know, like. Oh, and, a and, whole pack of clothespins. That's a lot thing, of clothespins. And, you know, I ask her a, a question and, and I'm like, you know, women that die that have breast implants, I'm like, cut me out a pair. And she's like, that's illegal. They bought those titties and they're going to die with, I was like, dang, but I said, you know that all you have to pay for is labor if you already have the parts. Right. Just you cut them titties. Like, right. She's like, caulk, I, I, I like my job. Caulk in there. Just caulk them in. Right. A little bit. Yeah, make it look like snow on the roof under there. Get a little, there, there get a little fancy with it. a black market for that. Oh, I'm sure. Especially for tea. But damn, I would probably buy implants that had fucking moss water in it with mold or something. Be like, um, <laughs> these were made at the Trotwood Breast Implant Clinic. Yeah, the mm. Breast Implant Clinic. Right. Wow. They're like, they're like, well, today we're using silicone from Menards. It was on sale. <laughs> How long have we? Oh, we've been recording for a while. We We keep going, yeah. It looks like it, yeah. We can keep going so we can have more to... um... Yeah, because that way... So, we met each other at a place where Nick works. We won't say where I work, but we can talk about what I do for work. He's in the pharmaceutical. I sell marijuana. Yeah. Legally, though. Legally. I'm a a bud tender. Yes, I'm a bud tender. He is a bud tender, and that's where we met. And the thing is, is I had been into that dispensary, I don't know how many times, and I had never run into him. 
and we have a mutual friend and she was like oh have you met nick before and i'm like well would describe him to me and she describes him to a t and i'm like no i've never and then i went in and the way she talked about him i was like oh well he must be like you know this like the way she described him, I thought I was going to walk in and it'd be like, John Wayne, like, how you doing, ma'am? She's like, he's so just, oh, I love him so much. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm not thinking I'm walking into this. Not that there's any. <laughs> so I come in and I'm like, you're Nick. And it doesn't even dawn on me when I'm talking to him. Usually, you know, I'm like, my gaydar is like that, but not initially with you. Like we're talking. And I'm like, my friend is in love with you. And he's thinking, oh, what? I'm like, what's his name? And I'm like, her, her name is. And and then he's like, well, does she, I hope your friend knows I, I'm a flaming homosexual. And I'm like, well, if she don't, let me be the one to tell her. <laughs> But she already knew. Oh, yeah. She already knew. Because as she soon as I figured knew. out who she was talking about, yeah. She already and knew. And let me just say. And you'll meet her. Yeah, there's some foreshadowing there. You will meet you her. You will meet her. Oh, I yes. call her, my nickname for her is Spark. Oh. Spark. Because her last name spelled backwards sounds like Yillard. It does. It does. And, you know, um, her and I have a lot of shared trauma. Because we went to the same brainwashing institute. So, I heard that you guys yeah. went to the same school. Yes. Uh, way apart, though. <laughs> yes. She's she's a lot she's a lot younger than we are. When, yes. when I graduated, she was in the seventh grade. Bless her heart. You know, sh her brother, Alex. <clears throat> I went to school with Alex. Okay, I he, love he, him. He was, he's the one that gave me the nickname Mama Kathy. Aww. He is, he's the sweetest. And he, um, Carla and I followed each other on TikTok first. Oh, and if you ever hear me say ticky tacky, I'm talking about TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. And she would, her brother was there one day. And she was watching one of my TikToks or something, and she went and showed it to him. And he's like, that's Mama Kathy. She's like, well, how do you know her? Like, this dude was in our family pictures. <laughs> His uh, best friend, my two older children, have a another brother by their father. And Alex. He's her, another sibling by yes. another man. Well, I, to, to make it less confusing, I have five children. Okay, my husband and I, yeah, well, zero. six, six total. Zero. So when I met my husband, so let, let me just say this. I had two children that I was raising that weren't mine by the time I had my first biological child at 19. So there's three. Oh, God, that's a lot of children. Yes. Your vagina thinks you for not all of them being yours. Right, just the one, but he had as a big head. Um. <laughs> Yeah, like it was big. <laughs> he was the bigger. It of was the like two. this. I swear. Right. We call it the Hughes head on my daddy's side. It was the Crenshaw melon. Right. I tell you what. So I had those three kids. Um, and when I met my husband in 2007, the older two were um, living in Texas at the time with their grandmother. So Ooh, after a uh, husband and I had been married for a year, they came back home. But my husband has a daughter uh, from a previous marriage. She's an adult. All of our kids are grown, but two. Um, our son together, Cameron, um, which is, he's part of the podcast too. You may not see him visually, but he's going to be helping out. We've got a couple engineers. Yes. None of them are here today. Right. They're at school because <laughs> child labor laws. <laughs> right. So we're just kind of like flying this airplane. Right. Like... And we bounce things. And, and he's really cool about letting us bounce things off of him too. So, you so know. So that you young people think right. we're funny. Because we're elderly. And we need to, you know, we need to bring you into our arms and cuddle. We have to teach you the old ways right. about the and, goonies and the right. lost Stay boys. Stay away from her. Like, get away from her. You're better off by yourself. She's, She's like the... Regina from Mean Girls. You don't want any right, of that. Right, right, right. 
Absolutely. So one thing that we have both talked about when doing this podcast is that we eventually want to be able to use our craziness for good in other ways, like, you know. Yeah, you'll be able to rent us for charity events. Like, I will call your ex in a heartbeat. Oh, we will definitely and, mess and someone pretend, up like, for you. Yes, like, I'll leave a voice message and tell him he's got the herp. Or that he's gay. Or the crabs. And then I'll, I'll call and leave a message, be like, Yeah, because he's Listen, allowed. he's going to leave you for me. So I just want mm-hmm. you to know. Like, it's Valentine's Day. Look, it's va- Valentine's Day is this week. If someone has broken your heart and you want to get even, let me, just tell us where they're going to be. If you uh, we'll are go in, in we'll we even, will, all oh, guns are blazing. We bitch. can be foreigners. I can do several British Empire accents. Like, it's on. I can do Elmo. I can learn German on oh, one of so <laughs> or I could be like, wow, you must really be an asshole. <laughs> or, you know, like, just make their, make their, you know, oh, well, he's going out on a date with her and they're going to the spaghetti warehouse. Well, every time she goes to take a bite of that spaghetti, I'm going to walk past and snatch it shit right off the fork before it hits her mouth. Right. Like, and every you time know. he goes to take a drink, I'm going to slap his hand. We're not too good for any side. No, hustle. no, if we you need cheap. Ca- We're catering, cheap and willing. We got you if it's under fifteen people. Like I tell you what, right? Dinner party hosts. I can even do what Teresa Computer does. I can do the long island. I can fluff my hair up and be like, um, like if you're I'm having getting a- an older. Getting an older. Does the does the initial E do anything for you? <laughs> What is that E? Um, Eugene. No. Eugene Levy. Oh, <gasps> I think it is. But he's still alive. It's maybe his father. Okay. Is yeah. he dead? Uh, maybe. Dun, dun, dun. See, I can do that. I'm the queen of hell. I can do that too. And then it just turns bad. I tried yoga once. Can't do it. Oh, and if you're having a um, an old school key party or something and you need hosts that aren't involved in the activities, we're there for you. Right. We also can bartend. Do you need me to call your gym teacher and tell them you're on your period? Yeah, because we'll be your parents in any situation. That's because if I call and sound extra gay, any secretary is going to be like listening and be like, oh, okay, thank you. I didn't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's fine. Just have her have a doctor's note. I'll be like, well, I am a doctor. (laughs) I have my doctor in psychology. So um, I'm just telling you now that she's excused from school until... Can I send you my electronic um, signature? Till Tuesday. Till Tuesday, yeah. The next four days. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. I'm not going to buy you alcohol or drugs, but I'll call you out of school. Right. (laughs) I just had to tell my mom, like, when I was 16. I got to skip a lot. Yeah. Um, well, I was moody. So, really, it was probably good that I just skipped school sometimes. Because it was easier for the teachers that day. <laughs> right. And um, what was always great about it, I just say, like, I'm not going in today. Okay. And then I'd be like, you have to tell them I'm not coming in. You know. Yeah. And she would. And then I would, like, around 10.45, call my best friend, Shanna, and be like, hey. And she'd be like, how'd you know I was home today? And I was like, because we always skip on the same days. We my wouldn't even son plan and it. his friend used to, to schedule their days where they would be like, Mom, can I have a mental health day? And that always gets me. Because I, I never, like, my grandma let me skip. I had my mental health days. But you need those but more than you do your sick But she would be days. like, oh, well, you're home. If you're going to be home, you're going to be in your room, and you're going to be locked. You're not allowed to watch TV. Da, da, da. I was like, what does that have to do with diarrhea? Right. I'm like, actually... even if I was sick, 
Like, what does that, I was never like that with my kids. You come home, you go in your room, know this, know that. You're too sick for school. You're too sick for, like, sh that's how she was. I'm like, what does that have to, what does me laying here watching the prices Right have to do with the shit? Right. It's like, like of course uh, I'm going to uh, watch USA all day. Oh, she was, she was something else that late. We'll talk about her. Mm -hmm. So. We've got so much to talk about. So much to talk about. And we have had, I've, I've had a great first episode. I think we have done really good at, at getting everything out that we wanted to talk about. Yeah, and we're going to have segments, you guys. We're going to have um, interviews. Oh, mukbangs are going to be the fun one. And healthy this is something ones. we're telling you right now. They're going to be healthy. Yes. So it's going to be like BB Bop. Or um well even the chips on me like are, 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 are somewhat healthy. Um yeah, we're not gonna plug them, but I'll read what they are. Yes. They're grain free cinnamon chips and they're churro strips made with avocado oil. Um they're made with coconut sugar and they're gluten free and gluten. they're non gamo verified. And they're crispy. Oh, and guess what? Chicken butt. They good, um, paleo and vegan. Mm -hmm. So it's a hundred and thirty calories for sixteen chips, and they really good for you. If you want to eat half a bag, go for it. That's only going to be like four hundred calories. And you know what? When people have weight loss surgery, or for me anyway, my thing was I would graze, and I would just eat all day. Well, this is something that would be something. And I still do that, but I make sure I have, like, my body craves veggies. If I, I always have cucumbers in my refrigerator. It's something that I like. It's a food that I liked prior to surgery, but after my weight loss surgery, it's something that my body constantly craves is cucumbers. And I'll just take them some of the beaches and put some salt on there or, like, some... Uh, soy sauce or some like I know, I know it yeah like um, it's I just love I have to have my go to veggie is any veggie right now I go to Kroger and I get those $10 tubs and it's got broccoli cauliflower yes. cucumber two yes. kinds of peppers and carrots oh and I love peppers bell pe we were talking about that the other day I bell love peppers it. I love peppers I just I love veggies of all types and my mom had planted some tomatoes and peppers, and every time They're I so would go good. there, I would just be plucking them, and, and I would eat the little tomatoes as I would pluck them, and, and she's like, were you going to take any home? I'm like, no, I'm eating them. This is just my appetizers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like but, when I was in school, I would take peppers as a side thing, you know, like how kids will take whatever, like yeah. carrots or something, or celery. No, it's bell peppers for me. My kid would take corn if I let her. And I have, well, I have a container. I was going to send her corn in it, but then the little lid broke because she loves corn. You hand her a corn, corn on the cob, she'll call it corn on the cob. But if you give it to her, if you, she sees that you're, you're making corn out of a can, she calls it or a bag. Okay. So it's corn on the cob, corn up the can, corn up in, the can, and corn up the bag. Corn of the bag. I like that. Yeah. Corn, corn on the cob, corn up the can, and corn of the bag. I love corn. You know, um, something that I'm not really trend. I don't know a lot about a trend, so we're going to have lots of guests on that know about things. But um, bento boxes, little kids really like <gasps> yes. those. That's the modern the, equivalent the of our He-Man he lunch things. Inter yes. With an insert for one of those and the little flip thing. Because then you could put you one of the little inserts in of it, can have the corn, and then you could have the other side, it has the rice and but then little strips of hell. turkey. You know what? I never thought about this. She's so picky. Like, she doesn't. Or, or she's as not my. She's not a meat eater at all. She does not like meat. She likes, she likes oatmeal. She calls it opie meal. I love oatmeal. That's her favorite thing. I oatmeal, ate it every day at noodles. work this week. Fruits and veggies and ramen noodles and oh Oh, it whatever. sounded like you said vomit noodles. Vomit noodles. Well, it depends on how you make it. I make mine bougie. But that's for another day. Yeah, we're going to have cooking segments. There's going to be a lot of expanded content eventually. This yes. is the first episode. You're getting to know us. 
you're going to know us a lot more soon. Yes, um, definitely, because um, we need to get Nick on a date. That's going to be my goal for the summer is to get Nick a date. We could have a whole um, garage edition of The Bachelor. <gasps> so if you I have know a like, lot of gays. Um, gays that are over 35 is kind of like really the only requirement and, and you know and nick is really tall but he doesn't require height no, uh, no. yeah you can be a tripod you, <laughs> you can be <laughs> uh, <laughs> right you could be a little king like it's on as long as you can kiss good and you don't have bad breath oh. like you can have coffee breath i'm i'm okay with that but bad breath you i know always what I'm worry about. about that and if you ever think if my breath is kicking freaking tell me that is one of my biggest pet peeves is being around someone that just doesn't know that they're and i'm so blunt but that's one thing that's that's like a sensitive topic is what if they have something that they you know do you do you remember teachers in the 90s how they would always still smell like the alcohol and they'd cigarette have the, smoke like the and they would before. be like Yes, there was one in particular, and but I, I have one in particular. I, I love him, and he's probably going to be a listener, so I won't ever make fun of it. Same. But he knows who he is. He spent a lot of time at the Little York Tavern, and um, yeah, you could always tell the next morning. Didn't matter how much coffee he had. Mm. <laughs> Still, my all-time favorite male teacher in junior high. Yeah, I. Uh... I, ha I had this teacher for one class, and I only remember um, getting a whiff of alcohol once, once or twice. But now the cigarette smoke was something all the time. Because they didn't come, know, to, they didn't come young, to work drunk. It right. was just like, you know, you get drunk the night before, you still smell like it in right. the morning. And I don't know if it's just me, but when you're a certain age, you almost put your teachers on a pedestal and like, mm -hmm. oh, my teacher said a cuss word or my teacher, you know, and then you realize, you know, when there, we're all people, we're all, you know, we all got shit going on and da, 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 da. And I remember, I, I like, I'm friends with a lot of my, a few of my teachers actually Me too. on social media. And I still refer to them as like Mrs. or Mr. And they're like, you know, well, you can call me by my first name. Now I'm like, <laughs> No, I can't. I have one teacher that I call by his first name. And that's just because I've been out of school for so long. And yeah. I've seen him more as an adult than as a teacher. But uh, one of the cool things about Vandalia was that all the teachers went to drink at Gators, mm -hmm. which was a old school nightclub bar. I in love the Ramada. Gators. Oh, that was the best place. Karaoke. Oh, so the food was awesome. My twenty first birthday, they weren't drinking with us, but they were there the same night. There was like uh, three teachers I had from high school and two from junior high, and then over the years we drank with them every not with them but at the same place with them and karaoke yeah. with them every single weekend That's for cool. years while we were all working on Miller Lane as servers. That's awesome. And it was always fun to go in there and see them because they would just talk to you as adults and be like, I can remember the one said something to me one time. She's like, yeah, you've changed a lot, Nick. You know, and she looked at my belly and I was just like, ooh. Oh, 